Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have a little bit of news today, not too much, but enough that I thought it was worth pulling a video out and delivering some news for you guys. So, let's get started. The very first thing I have is images of two upcoming Rebore figures, and these are ones that we had teased before, but we officially have images of the finalized prototypes, aside from the paint application not being on them. They are their 135th scale grab-and-go Tyrannosaurus Rex and Spinosaurus figures, and I honestly think both look incredible and quite possibly two of the single best Rebore figures that have ever been released. I'm kind of partial, I think, to the Tyrannosaurus over the Spinosaurus, even though the Spinosaurus looks just jaw-droppingly gorgeous, but that T-Rex, man, look at that. That is a beauty, and I cannot wait for these to eventually go up for sale, but as of this point in time, they are on their way to London, where their colorations are going to be designed shortly, so we've still got a little bit of time to wait, but these little sneak peeks, these teases are helping us to get through the rough waiting period of getting these figures, because I cannot wait to get these in my collection. Both of them look just absolutely beautiful, and are probably the most exciting figures coming out from Rebor in the near future, in my opinion. As far as the Beast of the Mesozoic goes, we got a sneak peek of their upcoming Cetacosaurus. This is just kind of all the parts just scattered in the positions that they should be in on the prototype, and I am really excited for this. I can't wait to see what this looks like once it's all put together, and it's yet another of the Ceratopsians I'm going to be quite interested in buying. Of course, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to buy every one of these that comes out, because I would be broken living in a gutter somewhere with a bunch of Beasts of the Mesozoic Ceratopsians, which may not be that bad, I guess. But, at the same time, I am still really excited to see it, and once the Kickstarter goes up in just a few short weeks, I'll probably be making my decisions then as to whether or not to pick it up, but at this point I'm heavily leaning toward actually getting this one because I love Cetacosaurus and I know they'll do an incredible job on this. Also, from Dino Dream, since we haven't heard anything from them in quite a while, there is an image that they just recently put up on their Facebook page showing a custom paint job on their large running GP3 style Tyrannosaurus Rex and I thought that it was just beautiful beyond belief, so I figured some of you guys would probably like to see it, and in general fill the void that we've had with the lack of Dino Dream over the past few months, because unfortunately they have not released anything in quite a while, however with this image coming out I am pleased to see that there is some activity going on, and this image of this JP3 style Rex is beautiful. I'm not positive if they're going to be releasing this at all in the future aside from the one that is currently for sale on their eBay page but that one is a custom paint job and everything so it's a pretty expensive figure however if you are interested this image shows you just how beautiful it can look and you should just check out the Dino Dream eBay page to inquire further about this model. Also we have a little bit of information from Nanmu. As of right now, Nanmu is changing the material in the legs, I believe, of their figures from full PVC to ABS for the inner core and PVC on the outer surface to make sure that the dinosaurs will be stable and won't have any lazy leg issues when the legs bend due to the weight in an extended period of time. So, that is one thing that is pretty cool. I haven't really had any issues with my dinosaur figures from Nanmu warping at all, but it is very cool to see that they are working on the situation before it even becomes a problem. As far as Mattel goes, we recently got a little bit of a tip from Paleo1990 on Instagram, and that is that the Battle Damage Spinosaurus has officially hit stores in Brazil. So that is super cool, and it is now nice to see that it is, in fact, in store somewhere, getting us all hyped up here in the United States, although we have had a serious lack of figure releases here in the United States for quite a while. There has really been not much of anything coming out, other than a few attack packs trickling by, and that is really depressing news for us here, because I am personally dying to get all of these figures that I keep seeing, but we just don't seem to be getting them, like the Battle Damage Plesiosaurus, Pteranodon, Monolophosaurus, Herrerasaurus, Proceratosaurus, the Battle Damage Spinosaurus, the Brachiosaurus, along with all these very cool story packs as far as the Legacy Collection goes. We just keep getting skipped on everything recently. It is nice to see a lot of these other places in the world that kind of missed out on the majority of the Jurassic World line getting some good stuff now. And it is cool regardless to see figures like the Battle Damage Spinosaurus now in store, but 
I'm personally really jealous and hoping that they start to release here sometime in the very near future. And the final thing that I have as far as Mattel goes is that there is a new basic dinosaur pack showing up at Kohl's and you can see here from this image that it features the Pteranodon, Velociraptor Blue, Owen the Indoraptor, the brand new elusive Proceratosaurus, and a very cool repaint of the Dilophosaurus. I actually think that that looks really quite interesting and I'm going to be definitely hunting this one out as I want to get a hold of this and get a better look at the Dilophosaurus out of the package. I also don't have that Proceratosaurus yet as every time I order it Amazon cancels my order for no reason whatsoever but I am definitely going to be on the hunt for this pack and I'm really quite intrigued to see what that Dilophosaurus looks like. Hopefully it doesn't become any sort of a hard figure to find because I've got enough of those currently on my list to try to search out but it does look really really cool and a nice change of pace from these other figures that we've had just kind of repacked at least we've got a repaint this time so as of right now that's all the news i've got when more comes out i'll be sure to send it your way but until then please like comment subscribe hit that bell to be notified of future videos and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching